This ticket came in at 9.49, it's 10.30. 45 minutes, we haven't even dropped the food yet. We ordered a burger and an appetizer plate too, and it's been like 45 like, minutes. Yeah. We're going to another bar to get something to eat, find a drink. This is a catastrophic failure. This bar is all about lunch and happy hour. So today, I'm gonna open for lunch. Guests have to be served, pay their check, and out the door in 30 minutes. Because if they can't pull off lunch, they can't make money in an office building. Hi, guys. Mm -hmm. Do you guys come here for lunch often? <laughs> Would you do me a favor? Let's see how long it takes for you to get your food out, okay? Just start a okay. stopwatch. Because you know in the lunch business, I gotta get you in and out in 45 minutes or I'm screwed, right? Yeah. Or we're gonna get fired. Well, there we go. <laughs> so track it for me, let's see how you do. combo. One salmon fillet, one burger, medium rare. Go the weeds. What's your ideal for ticket time? Uh, I would like it to be kept at 15 to 20 minutes. 15 um, to 20 minutes for lunch? Yeah. How long do you think people have for lunch? 40 minutes, and that's from start to finish. Would you like another glass? No, I'm fine, thank no. you. No. Can I get some hands here? So we're 15 minutes on that first ticket, no? Is that for my table? No, it's not for your table. How are we doing, Tiff? I asked Danielle about ticket times here for lunch. And it's with fries, yeah? And she said what she's looking for is from 15 to 20 minutes. If they can't develop a 15-minute express menu, some type of an assertion that the guest knows they're going to get their food right. and get out of here in a half hour, we're dead. Right. Where am I going? You're going to... Guys, too many questions right now. That's a sad-looking plate. Danielle, you need to be really careful. The quality is going down. Does this look like you want to serve that? It looks fatty. Look, if I didn't say anything, would it be served? Yeah, probably, yeah. This is not the quality that's going to make you guys successful, right? Yeah. So there's no real systems in here. This is your burger here. Right? My well done burger. burger. That's a patty. That's yeah, a patty melt. This is my burger, yeah? Is this a patty melt, yeah. though? It should have grilled onion. Okay, you need to make sure that your tickets are going in correctly because the kitchen is getting swamped here. These girls don't have the experience to run this place during a lunch rush. They don't have the ability to perform the systems that I'm putting in place. They need one manager in the front of the house and one manager in the back of the house so they can focus on responsibilities and run this place better. F5 running on 20 minutes. What's your time on that ticket? Nearly 35, 40 minutes. Somebody not gonna make it to work on time. So how long did it take? Um, 26. 26 minutes, come on. Oh, that was everything. I asked them to run their stopwatch, and your food took 26 minutes to come out. And that was for a freaking sandwich. But they don't have time to finish their lunch. I know people around here don't have that amount of time to wait for food. So what are we doing about it? We need to fix it. Let's sit down with your sisters and let's really talk this through, because okay. we got to solve this, you agree? All right, yeah. Okay. okay. Tonight, the future of this bar is determined by the community. I've asked the customers to vote on whether they see enough potential in Max and his staff to even warrant a rescue. If not, I'll tell Max to continue searching for a buyer, and I'll move on to rescue bars that communities do want to save. Are you guys excited? Yeah! All right, celebrities open. Come on in. There you go. Enjoy yourself. Hi there. How are you? Welcome. The whole goal of tonight for me is to win the community over again. Hi there, how are you? Doing good? So I'm gonna put 100%. Hopefully we can accomplish our mission. Hi! I'm Eric Graham and a honey whiskey. I'm making the honey whiskey. The honey whiskey. If the community doesn't support this bar, I can't rescue it. Tonight, it's up to them. They'll either say rescue it, or they say won't. It's up to the people. How are you guys? Sabrina's working on coming to you guys' table as soon as she can. She is a little bit backed up, but please be patient with us and we'll get your order as fast as we can, okay? Cool. Thank you. Wait, 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 Come on, there's not one person that's been down to this side. Let's go. Were you greeted? No. No. Okay. I'll be back with waters and I will check on your drinks, okay? Let me ask you a question. If I said hello and threw a napkin down and said I'd be back in a minute, would you feel better? Yeah. 19 minutes. Not even a burger a minute method. Never lazy shakes. You gotta pop that shake. It's gotta be quicker. It's gotta be quicker. It's rough. They're not prepared. There's no urgency. Everything's falling apart. What's her bachelorette party? We're ready to drink and party and 
We sat inside for about 30 minutes, drinkless. Yeah, we're out. When we told him that the margaritas weren't good, he promised that he was going to bring some new ones that were better. And he did bring two, and they were better. I will course, come back and give them another chance. <laughs> we hold up. What kind yeah. of ticket times we got? Average order's five, 537. Excellent, excellent. I wish I could say the same about the bar. Expected to get our drinks yeah. before our food. <laughs> that's true, that's but... true, definitely not. But um, I don't know, I vote yes. What's wrong with this situation right here? No one here to help either. And then we have Baja Burger. I had a Baja it was right there. I'm sorry, it's that deal. We're going on an hour, and we have not received any cocktail. Do me a favor, if you haven't gotten a drink yet, raise your hand for me. Max, look around. Come on, bro, let's go. I haven't even gotten any tickets. You haven't gotten any tickets? I haven't gotten one. Behind, always call it, behind. One at a time, one at a time, you got it. I'm out. No, you're not, one at a time. I have no scoop. What do you think? No urgency. What kind of ticket times we got? Almost an hour. Candace isn't pulling it off. Josh isn't pulling it off. Talk to me about the kitchen, chef. There's gyms in the kitchen. We're cranking out food under six minutes right now. Everything. Here, even Josh, with our Sunday. Yeah. Even with... I'm going to grab you slowly the tickets, OK? The printer's not working. So I'm going to. I need 11 drinks. 11 drinks. Yes. OK. Do me a favor, Josh. Stand by. POS system doesn't work. Food is going to the wrong tables. Drinks are not coming up on the printer. It is a complete failure. It's working now. Under right now. She's having some issues. Now, have any of these been made? <laughs> Folks, I'd like you to look at this for a moment. These are the tickets at the bar. Each one of these tickets is a table. Imagine five minutes a ticket. How would you feel if you knew that you were the last ticket? Max, any glasses? Yeah, I'm out of pint glasses. What are we going to do? This is ridiculous. I'm irritated. I can't make drinks without glasses. We don't have enough help. I want to walk out. You're wasting money every time you start washing we, this? We can't, I can't make drinks without glasses. I Don't have no glasses. I need Max. glasses. How about that? No, where's I'm Max? I have no idea. Max, every time they don't have glasses to make something, you're losing money. Do you like stress test? Well, it's it's its name. I'm stressed. I'm not just gotta put my head down and, and turn this thing around. Do I need Collins glasses? Can you see if we can find any additional ones? We're in, guys. Like this printer's making music right now. And I got a burger, a tuna, and a tender. Well, this is a giant disappointment. It's a giant bar. No one has a drink yet. I know. I'm so sorry. Look at those glasses. You look amazing, sir. How are you doing? Is the food coming out on time? Um, haven't gotten that far yet. So nobody's gotten drinks in this room? No one, right? Um, no. Wow, are we behind you, okay? Yes. We're in big trouble here. Oh, huge. I mean, that entire room hasn't been served at all. It's just a poorly set up bar. They put the emphasis on the bar coolers and not the stations. Whoa! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What is this? They sat on these tickets, then they came to the POS system and they dumped you, right? Exactly what they did. All at once. Should have staggered the orders in in the first place. Now we're screwed back here. Woo! That is tart. You're giving me anxiety. There you are, sir. Sorry about your weight. Here we go. Woo! I got your drink order. They're not being made yet. Bye. You want to take that food? James, what are you doing? Any limes over here, please? Or uh, no. The good news is we're slammed, and look. Tony's putting James to work. James, don't you have some tables to wait on? James is trying to take orders at tables. All right, let me grab you guys some silverware. He's bar backing. He's doing everything he can to help. Jessica! The problem is nobody's got drinks. We've been open over a half hour. The dining room has no cocktails at all. We got to kick this into high, high gear. The bartenders can't dig out. I'm sorry. We are trying, trying here. And now the kitchen's getting buried. I mean, maybe we'll get you something to eat. I don't know. Been running a long time on that ticket. Shaking like a whore in church here. Watch those tunas. They need to be flipped. Please do not squish burgers. Yes, sir. We do not squish burgers here. And is those cooked right? These are overcooked. I'm not going to let you serve them. Come on, That's guys. Right. It's got to be right. 17 just left. What's the ticket time on this? We oh, serve it. Sucked. 45 minutes in there. No drinks or food yet. Hungry. We wait too long. <laughs> yeah, we waited way too long, and we're leading, and we're going somewhere else. They got food beating cocktails. Please get the cocktails out to the tables. I was confusing the <laughs> out of me. No drinks. No drinks. No drinks. Drinks. No drinks. This is our dining room. It's the biggest revenue center in the entire bar. 15% of the room has been served, but 85% hasn't. 
completely unacceptable. Show me who has a red stick. Everybody, raise it up. I want them to see how many are in this room. Would you say that's a failure? Yes. Guys, we got a lot of training to do. We'll see you Saturday night, okay? Thank you. Listen, we are going to run out of these. Come on in! Dave is your backup. Let him know. Say, look, we need glassware. Here they come! Welcome. A chicken sandwich. Order in. Chicken sandwich. I get a Cape Cod, an old fashioned, and some chili fries. Yes. Glassware over the ice. No glassware over the ice? Oh, not what happens when it breaks. Don't make anything one at a time. Everything three, four at a time. BC, let's look up while we're staring, get some orders. Come on. I have like four orders in my head right now. You should be making more than one though, darling, right? Yeah. Order in chili fries. Oh, Way too strong, Michelle. Start it over. OK. There's those cake pods. Oh, How are you guys doing? We're out of glasses. All the glasses are right here, right now. Is there extra glasses out there? I see more glasses. I'm looking. It's a freaking disaster. We have no glasses for any of the drinks. We're over 30 drinks behind. Guys, we are losing ground. Yeah, I need glasses for all of these bullets. So what's happened is because we didn't plan ahead and ran out of glasses, rather than taking care of your customers, you guys are washing glasses. Without the planning, we're dead. We ran out of glassware. Ten minutes into this. Here's some more rocks. They knew I was going to fill this place yesterday. They did nothing about it. That's the epitome of why they're failing. I had a guy that ordered a chicken sandwich. Yep, he's got it right here. The fries went to him, so somebody's missing their fries. Somebody's running the fries to the wrong tables is what's happening. Chicken sandwich. No. Chicken sandwich. No. I've been waiting about 25 minutes for my chicken sandwich, and he's already done with what he ordered, and we ordered at the same time. You guys can go ahead and cancel my chicken sandwich. I ordered it an hour and 20 minutes ago. Gotcha. OK. I'm too late on the chicken to go. What do you mean, too late? They're gone. They left. This bull I busted my ass on that what was Steve supposed to do tonight? Talk to me, this is He's important. He's supposed to get the food out, make sure the tickets are going to the right tables. So what's happening? The tickets coming in organized? Once it leaves here, there's problems out there, not back here. We have a disconnect between bar seats and tables. OK, you need to control the floor. Go to it. Come on. Come let's on, go, Steve. Guys. Let's roll, buddy. Do it. Who still doesn't have drinks? <laughs> you know why? Because we ran out of glasses. there is the Xfinity Arena, 10,000 seats. Think about that. You can do pre-event business. And you can do, and you bet. The trick to them then doing pre-concert business is what? Speed. Speed and efficiency. Yeah. So I got the ultimate test for them tonight. I have 10 friends coming in, and I've instructed them to come in, order food and drinks, and if they don't have all their food in a half hour, if they have to go to the show, they got to get up and leave. Yeah, yeah. uh, so let's see what happens. What are we thinking? Can we get some Irish green tea shots? We are kind of in a because we have to go to that show. Please, I need 10 Irish green tea shots. Jesus Christ. OK, so they just bought 10 shots. Great table already. Shot, shot, shot. So they've now been inside for about 11 minutes. And they didn't order food. Guys, a group of customers like our recon are exactly who Yvette should be catering to. But no one's doing their job. Unbelievable. She's smoking. We want to do appetizers. We want to do short rib nachos. What side do you want with that? In a bar like this, Chef, what would you say your absolute high-end ticket time would be? Love that. Right, I'm with you. OK, so here we go. I got one, two, three, four, five tops. There's Gerald. He's your cook, Sean. OK. Oh, okay. Raw chicken with no gloves. Mm. Oh, Don't turn them anymore after after they sit. Come on, Lena. I thought you know how to make those. That was the waitress who jumps back as a cook part time. That's the bartender. This bartender, is the bartender who bartender jumps back as a, as a cook. Strange system. So they've now been in this bar for 25 minutes, sir, and they just started making their food. I need 10 shots of well tequila. Give me a minute. This is the wrong plate. This isn't a nacho plate. 
So now, at this point in time, this is failure mode, right? Yes. Right. Do you have pots in for it? Yes. Is that what these are? Yes. The gentleman running the races jump in the line as well. Why the, all the green onions? OK. Did you... That's a garnish. That's hey. wrong. OK. This wait's been over a half hour. The waiter, start taking out, John. Yep, take out. Excuse me, Hopton. Pardon. Hi, guys. What's up? You do! Why, well, you want to take them to go or anything? No? John! Yeah? They totally just walked out. Unbelievable. All that food's gone. Go ahead. My recon table is walking out. They've been here over 30 minutes, and they didn't get their food yet. Sit down, guys. Let's see what they were about to serve their customers. OK, this is a French dip. These are our pulled pork nachos. This is our nacho tachos. The chili burger. Our signature Why Not Burger. OK. Enjoy. OK, chef, let's talk about this burger. Come on. It's a hockey puck. Dead piece of beef. You don't, don't do it. You don't want that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, disgusting. This is definitely the worst burger I've ever had in my life. And now on to the nachos. Touch it, though. Feel it. Bad, bad, bad. It tastes like it was cooked months ago. He overcooked the cheese. That is not right. Oh, really? This isn't right? That's no. not right. Gee, that would have surprised me. How about if I mount it on the wall as a piece of decor? How does that look? Because it serves a better purpose on your frickin' wall than it does on a plate. I want to see how the procedures work in a kitchen and how the food running works. I want to see if these bartenders can make the simplest of drinks. But most importantly, I want to see if Jeff can lead. I'd like to welcome you all to Brian Ty's house tonight. We're open for business, so come on in. Go time. What can I get for you? Uh, two Don Julio margaritas. Two Don Julio margaritas? Two sours and a burger. Guys, give me two seconds, and I'll be right with you guys. So if you need to, you can taste them before you actually pour. OK. OK? They tell me to taste. I can't stand liquor, so it all tastes like I'm so sorry. These are for you. And let me grab you a napkin. I forgot what I was doing. What am I making? Four margaritas and three stone sours. I can get 20 for two drinks. All right, hold on one second, sweetie. Come on, you got one cocktail. Now you've got five up. Throw yourself in the fire, OK? Three Cosmos, three margaritas. You got it. When I leave here, I'm going someplace. Drinking. How are we doing? So Missy, Missy's crashing and burning. Now, Adia is like spitting out five or six drinks at a time, but she's having to pick it up even more because she's having to pick up her slack. Let me ask you an honest question. How many of you guys gave up on this bartender and moved over to this side? Yes, yes. Thursday. Missy, that's not good. Everybody pointed to this side of the bar. Let's go. I think there were some people getting our two drinks before I was able to get mine. This girl, I don't think she knew what she was doing. How do you order food over there? You can order at the bar if you ever get to a bartender, or you can walk out to the truck. Be with you in one sec. Hey, Sherry, did you, what did you order? Right, burger. You got a two-burger app sampler order coming up? I got two burgers coming up. There was supposed to be a two-burger app sampler all together in one order. Systems are breaking down. Yes, I realize that. We got Brian overwhelmed off the griddle and trying to take orders. He can't hold down the fort. We're sinking. Missy, who ordered the app sample? I can't, I don't, can't remember. The ticket ordering system for this kind of crowd doesn't work. It's just getting no food out. The kitchen had a fail, uh, breakdown. I had to go out and get my food. It took 25 minutes. The burger is not even what I ordered. 25 minutes you've been sitting here. What did you order? A burger. A burger. Let me check. Thanks. What's going on? Crash. Is this his burger? Yeah, this is his burger. That's his burger? How come it took 25 minutes? When did you put it on? Seven minutes ago? That ticket sat for 18, 19 minutes before the burger even hit the grill? No, that's not what happened. Why didn't the burger drop the minute the ticket got up? Go look to see how many of them. When the ticket comes in, show. drop the food. Oh, listen no. to me. Listen to me. No, you listen to me. I'm no, I don't listen to you. You I listen to me. You gotta when listen the to you. ticket goes up there, you put the food on the grill. Man, you get to our man, We're not even busy here, and you're falling apart. Look I'm at not me. Falling apart. Keep it together. I'm not falling apart. You Keep it apart. together, man. And next time it happens, I'll fire your ass. Your burger will be ready in a minute. So we've been here for at least an hour. We're not here. Does anybody drive a blue GT Mustang? 
We could drive home, make a drink, and then drive back before the drink showed up here. How we doing? Wheels came off. People are telling me they ordered food. Could I check on it? It's not even. Well, you got, you got a whole slew of them right there. Look at them all here. Look at this. Oh. They're sitting here on a printer. This ticket came in at 9.49, it's 10.30. 45 minutes, we haven't even dropped the food yet. We ordered a burger and an appetizer plate too, and it's been like 45 like, minutes. Yeah. We're going to another bar to get something to eat, find a drink. This is a catastrophic failure. Kettle and Cran and uh, Kettle and Soda. Kettle and Soda, Kettle and Cran on the way. What's that, like 60 food? Three ounces. <laughs> She's just all over the place. Well, that doesn't have the chunk. What I'm saying is I took the oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Madam, this is just a glass of booze. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah. Topping it up. Taking a sip is like doing a shot. Yeah, very irresponsible. Because it leads to overconsumption. And then what happens is they down three ounces in a few minutes. If you broke it into two drinks as you should, you would have then doubled your profits. Right. Here's a half open ginger beer and a glass of something. Yep. There's just stuff all over the bar. She should be focused on saving liquor costs, making sure you're pouring right, making sure that you have a comfortable, clean atmosphere. You and I have been here now about an hour. Uh -huh. You see the owner, Jeremy? Not anywhere. Uh, out of my way. He has no idea the amount of liquor they're giving away. I don't know about you, but I am out of freaking patience. His family's money is on the line. This is freaking absurd. This is Lisa Marie. So what did you see last night that bothered you? The thing that bothered me the most was the amount of liquor that went across the bar was absolutely ridiculous. It's not responsible. And it's your fault. It's not the ghost's fault, it's your fault. Okay, let's go to work, guys. All right, guys, I watched last night. You poured three ounces for each drink. So training today is gonna to be all about pour. I'm gonna tell them to pour an ounce and a quarter, which should be your standard pour for any bar. And then we're gonna pour into an exacto pour. We're gonna see if the most important pour is on point. I want you to pour an ounce and a quarter and just put it in there. Next, ounce and a quarter. Switch, next. <laughs> Let's see what you got, boo. Right. <laughs> Why are you guys laughing at me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's an owner pour. <laughs> okay, so check it out. I'm not surprised. Right here. <laughs> this is Miss Nicole's, the highest one. Yeah. So, Nicole right here is an ounce, over an ounce over. I think that's just the way we were all for I don't know. Jeremy, you're almost right effing on. Why are you teaching them? And you can be here to hold in the sand and say, Nicole, I just watched you pour that. You're wasting my booze. I'm not the only one doing, doing it, but it's not yourself. that bad. That's the thing. You're not thinking about the dollars that you're losing across the bar. When divided into one and a quarter ounce serving, a one liter bottle of liquor produces 27 cocktails. Pricing a cocktail at $7 translates into total sales of $189 per bottle. An overpour of three ounces of liquor reduces the total servings per bottle to 11 cocktails. This translates into total sales of only $77, resulting in a loss of $112 in potential revenue per bottle. Don't cheat your business. You gotta realize right. it, because you're not, you, but it's, it's, you're doing it's it to him. You're do When you pour a whiskey and soda, where does that whiskey come to? Should be like right about here. Should be right about there? Yeah, no. Overflowing, overflowing. Two, three, four, five, double was where you said for a single. Let's just not exaggerate it like crazy here. This is three ounces of booze. This is one and one quarter. I just don't think that's real. I don't think that's reality. You just, what, I just poured it. I know, but I'm saying what I poured last night. I wish we could get a thing in here okay. right now to show you. Okay. This is the drink that you served last night. And then there was trash. Let's just get into it. There's just trash everywhere. And then there's this over here. There's probably some lime juice over on the bar over here. Your bar looked like a 
fucking disaster and you're serving people three ounces of booze. I just want to be exactly Let's be exactly I don't want real. To exactly about real. It. Let's be real. Your count is up and it's him in the I, I don't think that's completely accurate. You keep talking and interrupting and interrupting and keep talking, 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 and it pisses me off. Oh, damn. Oh, man. Uh oh. It's awesome. I don't know. Pop it. The wow. bar is now suddenly packed. Hey, where is this crowd coming from? I can find it, I can find it. I can find fireball, it. Fireball, fireball right here. How you doing? I'm scared. We need a medic. Uh, they're deer in headlights. Don't get quiet, get excited. Load up with some shots. Let's go. Shot, 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 shot. Here we go. Oh, let's get to work. As the customers are walking in, what are they doing? Shots. The bartenders overserve themselves. This girl yeah. and the manager, they're not doing anything. Let's see what Jaime is doing. Not supporting his staff. He's chilling. He could be bringing some drinks to people in the second or third row, because none of that back of the room has been served. Oh, I'm seeing bad habits already. Ah, that's irresponsible over pouring. And look at how they overserve everyone. You want to make it double? Make it a triple. Triple? Two. Look at the shots they make making. Those are enormous if those are shots. Look at the size of that's a five, six ounce shot. Wow, that's okay. I physically cannot finish that. That's the size of a full cocktail. Why is there more people than in the bar? They can take the order. That is not management. Oh, the people over there. Every time his mother says something, he shoots her down. Go get some bottles. Uh -oh. I don't see you going. He has no respect for her. What do you do? He acts like he knows everything, but he does nothing. The way Jaime manages them, look at the staff drinking, customers over drinking, there's no responsibility. And no consequences. Place. It's a complete chain reaction. And it starts with Jaime being responsible to his freaking mother. I want you to understand this. I had this place under surveillance, right? And this is what happens. Times when I came, I tell you, don't use the, use the small ones. That's why I need to begin to check this Ending stronger than the kid. Four, three, five, six, I lost count. It is amazing. Five, two, three. Keep watching. I know I'm one of them in the back, and that I act that way, it kind of like made me feel bad. It was pretty embarrassing. See? At your front door. There's a definitely rowdy things going on there. Um, the guy did throw up outside, but he did kind of go to sleep in the bar. Sometimes that's a, that's a handy draw. So you did all this, let your mom put more money on the line. They're not trained, but you've been to bartending school, Mr. Big Shot, right? Is what I said fair, girls? Yes. You know, some of us don't know what we're doing, or you know, we're kind of jumping in, trying to trying to learn as we go. So who is that? I think it's been said about me. Cousin would ask me, "What's in this cocktail?" I'm like, I don't know. Do you understand that depth of failure? You supposedly know how to run it. This bar was going to get shut down five years ago, but my efforts have had enough Cost your mother $100,000 in those five years, big mouth. They're sleeping at your bar. They're so overserved, and they're puking at your front door. What's the point of handing out a flyer if that happens when you walk in? What's the point of a sign if that's what happens when they walk in? What's the point of hiring them if you don't train them? How you doing? Good. Um, do you have any specials? I do have two for one shots. Oh, I don't need to start off like that. Do you have anything on draft? Oh. Yeah, lemon vodka? No. I guess I'll just have plain vodka and tonic. It's kind of surprised that they didn't have any beer or liquor considering that they're a bar. Yeah, it looks good. There you go, gentlemen. The guy sitting next to me ordered an inception bomb, which is a shot inside of a shot inside of a shot, all in a pitcher. You're supposed to finish it in 10 seconds or less, and you get it for free, which promotes binge drinking. One, two, three. Here we go, go, go!
16.6. He finished it in 16 seconds, and he was hammered afterwards, and I had to tell him to sit down. I feel like you're a little wobbly. Thank you. And you know why? He just did that really big shot. He's a little, you know. You're hurting the feelings. <laughs> when you sell an Inception, drink. If you sell him a second drink, you're going to lose your liquor license. After one inception, one inception, you're beyond the legal blood alcohol level. An inception bomb consists of five ounces of alcohol. That is more than three times a standard serving consumed in about 10 seconds. In nearly all instances, this dangerous combination is enough to spike anyone's blood alcohol level beyond the legal limit. Guys, I got to turn this bar from a drunk fest into a place where people come and you make money. Bars are about length of stay. We're going to come up with a drinks program that's profitable, fun, around an environment that makes people come here and stay for two hours. You guys make more money, costs are better, and we win. <laughs> Who this guy? Somebody back there don't give a Can I get a drink? Can I go into your cellars? Can I get a cellar too? So what's this? It's a long guy out. Want me to pour it out? You can drink it. I'll pour it out, yeah. I don't want it. So when this bar is this full, you'd think you'd be making money right now, wouldn't you? Hell yeah. What if I told you you weren't? Then I would want to look and see how many people in there ordering. So what I did is I sent somebody in here called Partender. Mm -hmm. What they do is they go behind your bar, they weigh every liquor bottle. Right. And then we let you run for two days. Mm -hmm. So at the end, I compare what they run to what they used. Okay. And it shows me the difference. Last weekend, they poured $6,500 worth of booze, mm -hmm. but they only took in $2,700. They lost $3,726 just this weekend. That was the weekend. This is the losses for the month. This is the losses for the year. That's disaster. That is disaster. That's disaster. They blew it. You're damn right. Hey, blood, you, you ready to do a live performance? No, I don't know. Y'all done turned him up, blood. What the? They got me up. OK, who got you up? Y'all want to hear some rap to hear me? Yeah, bitch, I'm from 2-3. They call me Big 2-3. I mean, his freestyle was just weak. Tell your bitch she can suck this <laughs> Man. Problem is that there's a woman sitting there with her mother. Now what? And he's talking about a blowjob. Not only that, but he done put them dirty ass butt cheeks all on the bar. You don't want to hear my music? Get the f out. It's my bar right now. Shut your ass up. What the hell is he doing? Nah, that's over the top. I want you to know what's happening. Oh, shit. Our food cost is 46%. It should be 30. Yeah. Every time we serve a plate of food, we lose money. In only nine months, this bar is going to cost you $241,000. Did you realize that this was a quarter of a million dollar hit? No. It's a big hit, Marshawn, isn't it? It's huge. Who can afford to write a quarter of a million dollar check again and again and again? Yeah. No. 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 You know, this isn't funny. I ain't making no and jokes. I, no, and I don't want you to, because understand, it's his money. So we're failing. We're losing the game. And this poor guy, with all that heart and character, is writing the checks. And that ain't freaking cool. If we don't win for him, he's a fool if he doesn't take his money elsewhere, isn't he? That's right. Just this weekend, in the past few days, we poured $6,509 worth of alcohol. And we only took in $2,783. The hell? What? Yes, these are the facts. I was shocked at the amount. That's a lot of money. $3,726 worth of drinks were given away. And how long? Three days. Three days. So you're saying three days we over poured 3,760. Well, over, no over poured or drunk drank it? it gave yeah, it away, comped it, little, 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 adds up. 
There's drinks that's being drank. It's drinks that's not being logged. There's drinks that's being wasted. There's drinks being poured. There's drinks not being paid for. I saw you drinking a beer last night. And I paid for it. Shisha, you believe that? Not 100%. Neither do I. So you Neither call me a thief? I'm agreeing with her, who thinks you're full of shit. We've had countless meetings and talked to, and it's like it goes in one ear and out the other. All right, well, I'm full of shit then. You full of shit too then. Really? I'm sitting, I'm sitting here with here hard numbers. You. See, bullshit's not going to fly with me, Dante. I don't have an opinion yet. You do have an opinion. You had an opinion all day. Well, I had an opinion when you sat on your ass at the bar. I had an opinion when you're guzzling a beer. I had an opinion when you told the bar to suck your Oh, that was vulgar. That stuff I had an that opinion was, about. That was, that was inappropriate. Would that you just, stuff I had an opinion about. What you just say was inappropriate. Now, if you want to get on board and work with us, I'm with you, man. If you're going to fight me every step of the way, understand, in the end, I'm going to win, Dante. Well, I'm trying to tell you I pay for everything I eat and consume in this restaurant. But they don't believe you. That's Sandro, the executive chef. All right, let's see what they got. Yep, Hello. how you doing? Leave the gun and take the martini. Take the martini, yeah. Huh? How about if I want a cannoli, then what are we gonna I'll do? take a cannoli, too. Come on in. Woo. How you doing? Thank you. Lindsay, my pleasure. So this is the QR. You'll have to scan it with your phone. All the menus there. I definitely recommend trying meatballs. Sure, each meatball is only half a pound. Half a pound meatball? Yep. One yeah, pound. one meatball. So you get two in an appetizer. A half a pound meatball. It's like a meatloaf. You want to get a drink? Oh, yeah. Yes, I would love a drink. Okay, what would you like? Can I get an old fashioned? What do you recommend? I'll take whatever. I love Chianti. You have a, yeah, I'll try that. How do you make a meatball that big and keep it juicy? Uh, a pound. It's a, I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, they're normally like two ounces. But... And he said, oh, thank you. You're welcome. Jason, I'd love for you to order some pasta, and when you order it, ask if it's homemade. Copy. Because they Copy. say the pasta is homemade, but I don't believe it is. The pasta is all, is the parpadelli housemade too? Yeah. The special? Mm -hmm. Sold. Yeah. And the Caesar. OK. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. So Nico is just standing there, doing nothing. He's not engaged in anything. I mean, everybody's just standing there looking around. Yeah. Those are giant balls. Yeah, they yeah. are. Holy moly. Do you think a half pound meatball is something that the average person would buy when they're also eating dinner? Or do you think it's a dinner killer? Oh, I gotta use my knife. It's so sad. <laughs> this is what they build this whole thing on. I mean, it's just, it's really dense. We already cut into it for a little over. Yeah, it's, it's dry too. Like, look at the two of them watching. So, hold on, hold on. Okay. It's like watching the Titanic sink. Isn't the salad? It's like legit brown. What's wrong with it? I think that lettuce has seen better days. Is there paprika or something in, in this dressing? What's the, like, the, the brown tinge? You see the color, right? It's a little brown? Yeah. I'm How just trying to brown? figure out. All I was saying is, like, I was saying here, if there's a spice in it that's making it discolored, then that's the answer. But I'm, I, no, but, I, I get shit, but. To be honest, I don't know every ingredient. No, in, I know. In, in but, this, but in this secret, I'm, I'm... it's a freaking disaster. This yeah, is, this is a Nico Caesar. We've been selling this for close to twenty right, but years, it, but it still looks yeah. like shit. I just asked a simple question: Is there spice in this? And nobody answered. I got it. Me. Yeah, but what kind of attitude is that? What, 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 what attitude should I take? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're, sir. I'm sorry, you know your what? highness. Is Nico going to deck him? <laughs> he might. He might deck him. <laughs> My name is on the season. My name is on I get it. I get it. I get it. So know. I defend it. I've seen everything I need to see. I'm going to go in there before Jason and the owner kill each other. Can we have our bill, please? Absolutely. Nico. Yeah. I love your Caesar salad. Anyway, oh, so I defend. Honey. I defend Nico. I defend what we have. Hi, guys. Hi, how are you? We got to meet last night. Yes. I know we got off on the wrong foot, but uh, Both feet, man. look, I just want to tell you, I'm here to help. You made a lot of comments to me about, it's been 20 years. We've been doing this for 20 years. I have five restaurants. They're, they're very, very successful, even during COVID, because we pivot, we change, we, we adapt, you know? All right, so last night, had your meatballs. The biggest balls I've ever seen in my life. That was the biggest beef ball I've ever had. 
So I made my own version of it. We're known for our homemade meatballs. We've had these for 20 years. People love them. We probably sell 100, 100 to 150 meatballs a day. We're gonna make this amazing sandwich. So I took a beautiful baguette, garlic butter, smeared it, toasted it in the pan. We wanna have that little crunch and texture. Meatballs, simple marinara, burrata. What I did is I whipped it, so I pureed the crap out of it. So it's almost like ricotta, but way better than ricotta. You know, everybody's had a meatball sub, prevolone, parmesan on the broiler. Those days are over. We're trying to get a little bit more upscale. So homemade pesto, and then it's a parmesan chip. So we just take that, we top our meatball, just have some pickled peppers right here on the rim. And it's as simple as it gets. All right, and you try it. No, you right. try it. Lots of flavor, highly seasoned, delicious. Really nice. Chef, have a look. Yeah, it's good. So they're looking at the menu. It looks like they're about to order here. Yeah. Ten nuggets. You'll want to take this receipt to the window. To the window? What window? She just told them, here's your trick. Go pick up your own food when it's ready. Like this is a drive through Let me go walk and get this food. I guess, look, whatever you call it. There's two waitresses there, but they're not going to serve the food to them. What we're looking at is a completely unmanaged business. All right. I can't believe it. Styrofoam container inside a club where they had a stack of plates that they could have served them properly on. This don't make any sense. This right here doesn't happen. A nightclub, guys. This is a nightclub. Are you serious? Did you ask for it to go? Did you actually no, it I here? told him that we wanted it here. Oh, uh, Chef, I'm going to lose it. It's, it's just blowing my mind. I want to know who the hell made that decision. I'm guessing it's the owner. Where is Shelton? I haven't seen him in a very long time. Holy Right, this is a lot of fried food. Like, should've just got one to share. I'm not trying to gain weight while eating my meal. I just want to have a little snack and then go back to party. Before tonight's stress test, Chef Aaron assesses the cooks on their current menu. Dude, I want to tell you, you guys got a real solid product. But one of your major problems is, is these are big portions. The food cost is probably like a 40, 45%. You want to bring it down to maybe a 30, 27%. Would give them the clientele too much food, and also it really doesn't allow you to eat and go back to dancing. It makes you want to eat and go to sleep. We're gonna order some food too, I think. All right. I'll take a cheese steak. I'm just gonna do some cheese pizza. All right. Light cheese ready. Oh. Oh my God. How are we supposed to eat this thing? <laughs> Who said it's the best pizza on South Street? My dad. Is that the best pizza on South Street? No. So he just put that sign up there. It's on the road of the best. It's allegedly the best pizza on South right. Street. It doesn't smell right. Like, something's got an off smell. Really no, good no, pizza no. usually has nice air pockets and bubbles in it. This is like dense and flat looking. Like, it's got a funky taste to it. Not too appetizing. Do you eat the pizza a lot? Do you like it? You don't? No. I think I'm gonna wait on my cheesesteak. So we can conclude this is not the best pizza on South Street. One thing I noticed about the pizza yesterday is that it was very soggy and the dough was undercooked. This is like dense and flat looking. The dough that you guys were using, there was a lot of grams and you guys were making a very big pizza. So what we're gonna do is cut down the amount of grams and we're gonna make the pizzas a little bit smaller. So we'll take the pizza dough and open it up. Now you could see this dough is nice. It has some nice air to it. Okay, it's very delicate. When you smack it, you end up with a very dense piece of pizza. Bring this sauce over here. Not too much sauce. We want the ratios to be proper. Pizza in the oven. And look, it fits perfectly on it. So now we have great pizza, we have good profit margins, and we have proper ratios. And that's really what we're looking for here. Very good. Not bad, right? Anything you're interested in? I'm gonna try the pastrami burger. Just a regular third pound. That's Lorenzo, one of our cooks. Hey, can you jump back here? Ten what? cheeseburgers to go, no fries, just burgers. Really? Why are they ordering ten burgers right now? Ten cheeseburgers. I'll try to get half a cigarette in, man. Burgers. Scott's having a smoke. Hey, Scott, would you help me? I'm busy. Scott proved himself to be, at moments, personally undisciplined. Fair? Very fair. Is he disciplined in his business? No. Is coming. Yeah. Soon, right? Yeah, I know. She's not wanting me to talk. At all. <laughs> she just wants you to shut up. She's like, I'm done. Persistent. How much of a wait time do we have? The three that are up right now are completely just. So, is there food coming? Is it? Is it going to come? Like, you know, just being that. That's where I'm. I'm already over it. If that's the attitude of your manager. You're screwed.
Oh, my Tommy goodness. Burger. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa. I might have to go sit outside for an hour. So now all this food came out. Scott's having a smoke. I'd be curious to look in my customers' faces and see if they like the food, wouldn't you? Oh, my God, it fell out. Oh, shoot. You can't eat it. How are you supposed to eat it? It's more than all the nastiest thing I've ever seen. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> it's really just messy. That is a really cheap, frozen hamburger patty. Not very good hamburger, is it? Did you guys want to order any food? What are you guys known for? Our Philly cheesesteaks are really good, and those are actually five dollars tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna do the Philly. Okay. And let me do the the chicken sandwich fried. Oh, sweet! Like really sweet. Like a jolly bacon. Yeah, that's not very good. Chicken sandwich fries, five dollars Philly. So that's Bob. He's your cook. Look at the color of that towel. Oh my God, it's gray. There's a pile to the right. Oh, let me go get another dirty towel for my dirty towel stack. You see that? Ah. Oh, I don't have one. I have 100 of them. This is disgusting. OK, that looks like a piece of steak. Is it? Is that what that is? That I don't know what that is. Oh, my god, it looks yeah. like a brain. It looks like a brain. It you know, does. I'm, you guys know what that is? What is that? That's frozen Philly meat that he's beating the shit out of. To thaw it on the grill. So he sliced it from something. It's still raw. His griddle is not hot enough, by the way. Basically, you're just steaming steam. It's great. It's not, it's not browning. No, you want Maillard. Maillard is the caramelization that comes yep. from the meats, right? He didn't clean the meat. He didn't take the sinew off the outside. And he just, there's, that guy doesn't give a f That's a big old model of I don't care what I'm doing. Holy moly, John. Look at the size of that chicken sandwich. That thing is the size of my head. Holy crap, that's got to be a pound, if not more. That is ridiculous. Oh. That's big. A sandwich needs to be properly proportioned. Yes. That is a chunk of chicken with bread. Yes. Oh, my god. <laughs> I... Everybody looks at it like, how am I going to eat this? Yeah. You might need to just like chop it in half. Yeah. I'll tell you what. It's... You're losing your ass on that chicken sandwich. I don't know. Yep. That needs to be a $25 sandwich. Dude, I can't, I can't even get into this thing. You can't even cut it. She's holding it for him. It's taking two of them, and they still can't cut the damn sandwich. I've never seen this in my life. It doesn't look that great. The chicken sandwich came out super large, almost unmanageable. It just doesn't translate well for good bar food. So I immediately sent it back. Oh, look at that. This is really oh. greasy. Or that's like super, super greasy. OK. Um, they said this is really greasy and gross. So I don't know if you want to talk to them about it. I'm going to take this. going to talk to them? I don't know. No way I'm not getting sick on that. How's it going? Don't be a dick. We just sent some food back to the kitchen. The chicken sandwich not really cooked all the way through. The cheesesteak, super greasy. Don't be a dick. What do you want? Do you want a refund on it? Or? Yeah, that would, be, um, that would be great, yeah. All right, can you just refund them on that, Susan? Wow, not even an I'm sorry. Well, there's Zanzibar, guys. Pretty unexciting fun. Oh, what does this sign even say? Zanzibar, a misspelled African name with a Statue of Liberty inside. Doesn't make any sense. That's pretty bad. It looks like you look around, all these other bars have people in them. If I'm a group of college students and we're walking down the street, you're literally looking in and going, nah, let's go to the next place. Right. Free beer! Free beer! So there's Ami outside. He's our owner. Come and get it! Oh my God, it's like a carnival. Look at the bearded lady. Why would he scream oh free God. beer, free drinks? A guy comes in, gets a free drink, leaves, and goes across the street. And you can play pool for free as well. Free dates. Ami's definitely desperate. If you want to cheapen a bar, make it look empty and seem irrelevant, stand in front and beg people to come in. Look at how cheap the drinks are. Beers are two fifty with $3 well drinks. So think about that. For a $2 beer, they're oh, chasing $2. away a prime customer. Sure, right. Ami should be charging a couple of dollars more for these drinks. They have a Cosmo. There's a Cosmo. These girls are over pouring. In product costs, that's expensive drink. You're pouring triple portions. That looks so full. Ooh, look at her face. You can't serve that to customers. It's entirely too much alcohol. OK, ladies and gentlemen, free champagne! Free champagne? Oh, my god. Oh. Who wants to have two shots? He's doing another bottle. OK. So no one has to pay for anything here. No. Here we go, another bottle of champagne coming out. OK. 
Look, it's all about watching him. Yep. Georgie, Bob, Mike, get the free drink over here. Why don't I get a free drink? You absolutely get the free drink. More free drinks. Fast, go! OK, so those champagne bottles have to cost him three bucks a bottle. We watch him give away four bottles. That's $12. So at a 20% cost, that $12 costs himself potentially $60 worth of sales. Ami likes to be Mr. Entertainer. The problem is he's giving away half his bar. I got to teach him how to create a great guest experience without giving a house away. Are we making money? No, you're giving everything away. I'm giving champagne away. Is that Sarah? Sarah? Sarah's the bar manager. At least somebody's looking out for the business. Now, let me tell you what this is. These are Bevintel reports. What this company does is they come in here and they weigh every liquor bottle behind the bar. Then they look at your sales for the next night, and they come back and they weigh the liquor bottles again. It has to do with how much we poured based upon how much we should have poured. Here are the statistics. Friday, you got a D from Bevintel. You guys gave away $960.76. Gets worse. Saturday, an F. Read this number. How much did they give away? $1,596.51. Thank you very much, girls. He's losing two to $3,000 a month here. And I just showed you $2,000. That's not funny. Had you guys poured correctly, he would not have lost money last month. Those girls cost me my business. Those girls cost me my livelihood. This is amazingly stupid. I cannot believe you get $2,500 worth of drink for free. You betrayed me. That's $2,500 and that we can make all the difference between living and dying. How much did you give, give away? How much did you give away? How many away, free Abby? drinks did we pour for him that night? Last night, we gave a lot of free alcohol. That was encouraged by Ami. We gave champagne, we gave shots, but we don't do it on our own. Ami, I watched you give away six bottles of champagne last night. If you think you're smarter than everyone in the room, you're not. Yeah, definitely. This is so strong. Tony commented on how strong the drink is. All right, so she ordered a blue hurricane. Let's see how this is. You know why it was green? So much whiskey. Not only changes the color, makes the drink strong. Yeah. So why is she there then if she's not a good bartender? Because she's friends with Jessica. There you go. Has Jessica ever walked up to you and said to you, you are overpouring? Don't look at her. Look at me. No. I saw massive amounts of overpouring tonight, and I want David and Jessica to see how bad it really is. This is my dear friend Peter O'Connor. Hey, guys. Peter is the master of whiskey for Diageo. So what I'd like to do, guys, is let's go over to the bar. What we really want to focus on is your overpouring. And the reason I do blacked out glasses is because visually it's much harder to pour when you can't see, and then we'll judge it. Shannon, uh, one ounce pour in here. Danny. And Eddie. Now let's see how you did. Eddie, let's have a wee look. Wow. That one's actually bang on. I'm surprised this is amazing. Proud of them, they can pour accurately. That means you knew better when you did it, right? You busted. The entire staff poured perfectly tonight, and that infuriates me, because that tells me they knew how to pour properly in the first place, and they chose to overpour and rip off ownership. And that, to me, is appalling. All right, guys, now I'm going to stop with the I have a company called Devintel. They come in here and they weigh every liquor bottle in the building. Then you go through your shift. Then they weigh the bottles a second time. It tells us exactly how much liquor was wasted compared to what is sold. Friday night, Eddie worked. On that night, you guys did $1,618 worth of sales. And how much did they give away, Jessica? $721.36. In our defense, I think we do make a, a stronger drink because we're trying to maybe 
keep the customer a little longer. You keep them longer by selling the next drink, not selling one drink. Every time you make that drink stronger, you cost them a second sale and you pour more booze. Bars must be responsible. We have a part to play in our communities and over-serving is absolutely unacceptable. Saturday night, Shannon, you worked. Did even worse. You did $1,515 in sales. You gave away. Read this number, Dave. $976. $976 worth of drinks. That's $8,225 worth of liquor we gave away in a month. How much did you lose last month? <sighs> Two grand. You would have made six if you managed. You ready for the annual number? $98,705. That's what you guys give away. That doesn't happen by mistake. It happens by choice. I, I would never, ever in a million years think that we were doing that. I have a lot of people say that they need more alcohol. Sure, if I go up to a bank teller, I'll ask for more money, too. Are they going to give it to me? I can't really assess how you run this bar with nobody in it. Now, I'm going to let about 60 people in this bar, literally in about 60 seconds. Okay. And let's let the proverbial hit the fan, and let's see what happens. All right, guys? You got it. Hi. So these are all my friends coming in. Oh, I need menus. What can I get for you? Can I get a captain and diet? Ridiculous. How many? The bottom? Oh, my God. They have a chance to make a lot of money tonight. They got their two bartenders on. Both owners are here. They should be able to pull this off. I got captain. Sir, I haven't sent out one order in the computer. Me neither. We're just going to have to go with it. No right. beer cooler? I know. It's a mess. <laughs> Bottom of the bottle. Second. Bugs, all sorts of <laughs> floating in there. Would you drink that? Never. How about everybody get the shot? Yeah. I have to pick up all of it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, put your hands up. Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh, That's two bottles. She just said she gave away two bottles right now. giving away drinks. She's giving away whole bottles of spirit. She isn't collecting any money. Woo! Interesting night last night? Interesting night. Maybe not your proudest? No. How much money have you put in this business? Everything I had. Together, how much are you both in debt? I don't know exactly. Over 200000 Probably. Your retirement's gone? Gone. Jamie's 401 is gone, he told me? Gone. And you got enough money to make it how much longer? Three, four months, maybe. And it's done. So this is do or die for you. This is. You guys are waking up with a failed business, and you're not doing anything different. Last night, I slammed this place, right? What happened? We got overwhelmed. We were all over the place. They got so busy that they said and stopped ringing stuff up and gave the whole bar away. We tried to have a game plan that just fell apart. You took a bottle, you poured it out all over the bar. How much did you ring up from it? Probably only six shots. She gave away $2,000 worth of drinks last night. That's about the number. I didn't do that by myself. That bottle was hundreds and hundreds of dollars. We didn't know what was going me. on last night, who was collecting what, how we were doing it. None of the tabs got paid for. So I brought customers in the building. That's bull and you know it. You're focusing on me being a thief, and I'm not. Well, you were last night. This man is fighting for his life here. Do you understand that? Do you understand how much you screwed him last night? Why'd you do something like that? You guys know what I've been through this year. I only work day shifts. I'm never that busy. Does Cowie have a job? No, I don't have a choice. Are you kidding me? I'm not going to do this. I'm seriously not. I'm not. Either tell her to stay and give her the conditions or tell her to leave, but be commanding. Be a boss now.
If one more little tiny minute thing happens, see you later, bye. What can I get you guys? You don't have any June shine, do you? No, we don't. Okay. You know what that is? No, we don't. I don't have that and I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay. What kind of shot would you like? Uh, here we go. Hey, how are you? How are you? Good. Hi, I'm How are you doing? Austin. Austin. How are you? Good to see you. you. Good to see you. It's my birthday month. Yep. Yeah. Cheers. Right Cheers. Happy birthday. Cheers. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy Thank birthday. you guys. Thank you. Did you notice? They didn't exactly have to twist Denise's arm, did they? No. She's chasing it with a beer. Cheers! Oh! He's a little numb. Hello. What can I yeah. get, John? I definitely want to try one of your margaritas. Okay. She is. Could you make me a drink as well? Sure. I'd love a margarita. You got it. I'm making it. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do two. Oh, okay. I'm not that know. first one's gonna go, go down quick. Okay. I am so annoyed. <laughs> this girl's lacking skills. Thank you. I sense a little bit of an attitude from Melissa. Jessica looks like she's trying, but they have no clue what they're doing when it comes to making drinks. Thank you, Jessica. No problem. All right, margarita time. Oh, God. The onion rings are fine. They're just both so different. How do you like yours? I don't like it. You don't? No. Yeah. The carbonation and this lemon lime soda okay. is gonna take out all the flavor of the tequila. I should be able to taste it, and I really can't. Okay. And then do me a favor, just get rid of those. Okay. Please okay. and yeah. thank you, I'm sorry. This bar closing is a real reality now. And it's amazing to me that Paul is sitting here in a hole. How much, 300 plus thousand dollars? 315. 315 thousand dollars. And your owner, rather than fighting for this business, was having a party last night on his money. That wasn't your beer that you drank. That was his beer. You get that? Those weren't your shots that you drank. Those were his shots. You should almost walk up to him and say, Paul, is it OK with you if I have a Coke? Because I know it's your money. But you don't have that respect. And that's what got me angry to see this poor guy sitting there. How many years did it take you to earn that 315,000, Paul? 22 years. And I watched her drink it away last night. You ever look at it that way? No, I haven't. Will you tolerate that anymore? Not anymore. I've always been kind of a pushover. I need to stop that. You need to stop, you're gonna lose your money. I wanna show you guys something. Can I have a bartender? You might wanna take a deep breath before I show you this. Over the past several days, we poured $2,486 worth of alcohol. We rang $1,189 worth of alcohol. And how long have I I'm watching your mouths drop because you're the ones who did it. Here's the depth of your failure. How much would you lose in one night? Read that number, Denise. 1,297. How much is that a month? 38,909. How much was it over the year? 473,398. In less than a year, I would have had my money back. That's what happens when you get drunk in a bar, Denise, and you don't pay attention to anything. What, what shot do you like? Now he's gonna try to give them a shot. Cheers to you guys. So you know there's a drink in this for him somewhere. Oh, absolutely. Oh, there it is. There it is. How many drinks has he had? I mean, he's been drinking multiple shots with the customers. He's pouring himself pretty hefty shots. I got you. I'm not going to ring it up. I got you, bro. And he's drinking that way right in front of his brother. Mm -hmm. Right in front of his uncle. Absolutely. They don't seem to care. Nobody seems to care about it. I got you on the shot, bro. I got you. Have you seen one cash exchange between no, anybody? You want a shot? I got you, brother. I don't think he's taking a dollar on that. No. The last two shots, did you have in the tab already? No, I got him. I got him. Love it. Yeah, I got him. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Wow, this guy's an idiot, huh? Oh, God. Being drunk. Oh, my God. Woo! Let's do this. To be honest with you, I've never seen a bartender right. or owner act like Angela. There were drinks spilled everywhere. It was 
complete chaos. I felt really uncomfortable. So look at this, Tano and Tommy just let Angelo do whatever the hell he wants. Woo! Get out of here, dude. Get your shirt back on. You're out of your mind. Then they're going to blame it on him. But they're standing there and letting him do it. Yeah. Do you know who you are? I'm Angelo. How many drinks have you had tonight? Seven to 10. Seven to 10. How many do you have every night? Seven to 10. This is the way you normally are? Yeah. Come with me for a minute. All right. You're his big brother. What do you do about it? Doesn't listen to me. you. Why the f is he here? Do you know how many drinks he gave away tonight and never rang one up? He gives it away, disrespects people, embarrasses your family, correct? Yes. What do you do about it? Nothing. Nothing. Woo! How are they gonna call me like that? Let's do a shot. Good night, guys. I want nothing to do with this. You're going to do shots after that? Stop. Angelo. Angelo, sit down. I use Partender. Partender is a computer product that takes inventory off all the liquor bottles. And it tells me exactly what was used, exactly what's been paid for. This is the last three days. You poured $16,000 worth of liquor, gave away $7,500 worth. Oh, my god. So, based on a single weekend, your loss was $7,539. That's $360,000 a year. This drunk has given away. Wayne, you're the one who can make the most difference here. You got a problem. What are you gonna do about it? Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.